Hello everyone, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope you're all well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Okay. We're throwing down cards for the second half of May today. I know I'm a little behind. It was a rough couple of days. Tuesday was crazy, so I didn't have time really to throw cards down for anybody. I think I did like one personal. That was all I was able to squeeze in on what is typically Tarot Tuesday. But I'm here now. And we're going to get down as many as we can today, tonight, and tomorrow morning. Aquarius, it's time for your reading. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's not going to resonate with every Aquarius. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. And if you're a cross watcher popping in for Aquarius, come on in. We're going to throw down some cards, drink some coffee, and have some fun. Check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you haven't already. Those might resonate a little bit better. Depending on how the stars are aligning and what's going on in your life and what questions you may have. Okay. Hit the like button if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist your arm. Share it with a friend if you think they might need the message. Subscribe if you'd like. That'd be awesome. Again, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. And if you do subscribe and would like to know when I upload, hit the notification bell. Just letting you guys know, I am available for personal readings. Reasonably priced. Right now I'm running $15 for one question, $10 for each additional question, and I will not charge more than $50. So hit me up, send an email, we'll talk. Okay. One more, I think, and we'll be there. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, second half of May, 2020. Aquarius, why are you here? Four of Swords in the reverse, you're restless. You're restless. Okay. Well, Aquarius, this is interesting. Okay. How you feel about the person you're dealing with? The King of Pentacles in reverse. Unstable. Needy. You may feel like they... Let me throw a clarifier on that, but I'm I'm getting a sense of they're not all they're blowing themselves up to be for whoever that's resonating with. What you think of them, the Knight of Swords. You might think they're a little bit nosy, possibly. Almost like they spy on you. What you want from them, Page of Swords reversed. 
Oh my. I think this is someone you're already separated from. Because you just want to be left alone. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to deal with it. You just want to be left alone. You want communication to just go away from this person. You don't want to talk. How they feel about you, they see you as the Nine of Pentacles. You're independent. You're, you have something to offer. You're one pentacle away from the freaking dream. What they think of you is the Ten of Swords reverse. They don't want this to end. They don't want this to hurt. I'm hearing this doesn't have to end painfully. What they want from you is the Eight of Swords. They want you to be as wrapped up in this as, as they are. The challenge here is the Five of Cups reverse. Someone is not nearly as sad about this as the other person. What needs to be done to salvage this, if it's salvageable, the world reversed. A comeback around. A do-over. Um, projected outcome is the strength reversed, which is someone submitting to the other just to make noise stop, possibly, and this being extremely draining. We're going to throw some clarity on this, because, um, I don't know who this is resonating with. All right. could possibly be a Leo that you're dealing with, with the strength card. Um, universe, can I get a little clarity on the cards in the table for Aquarius for the second half of May, please? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. A little bit of water, a little bit of earth, a whole lot of air on this table. You might be dealing with an air sign, so a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The only one I don't have on the board is fire, except for the Leo card at this point. Wow. I just want you to go away. Why won't you think about me? Crosswatcher, I apologize. I do. Somebody might be a little bit obsessed. Okay, why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? star card. There's a definite connection. You feel like a healing needs to take place. Okay. Like they haven't healed from 
something. Possibly they haven't healed from you. Or it's in process. One more. Might be another Aquarius you're dealing with. Net of Wands reversed. You feel like they want a commitment. They want to commit. They, they want to be done with their player ways and crap. But they're not stable. There's nothing stable about this. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Two of Pentacles reversed. They're they're still juggling emotions. You think they're nosy? They're juggling emotions. I'm hearing excuses. One more. Ace of Wands. They're nosy. They're they're. Juggling excuses, constantly hitting you up, constantly trying to initiate. Why is the Page of Swords reversed here for what Aquarius wants from the other person? They could be constantly trying to instigate arguments too. Like they're checking out your social media, trying to dig for information and constantly instigating arguments. It wants reversed. You want the noise to stop. You don't want this to go anywhere. You don't want to talk. You don't want to communicate. You don't want this to go anywhere. Aquarius, I think you're done. Temperance reversed. You don't want this to flow at all. You don't want exchanges. You're done. It might be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. I mean, this is... this. Okay, this is to the point where you are restless. You're losing sleep over this. You're not like Nine of Swords losing sleep, but you are Four of Swords reversed losing sleep. Like, this is invading your dreams. Restless energy. All right, why is the Nine of Pentacles here for how they feel about you? Hi, got a twofer. The Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups. They feel like you're stable. You're good. You got money in the bank. You're stable. You're happy. You're content with life. Apparently, they, they, they're completely blind by what's actually going on. But... They, f they f definitely feel a connection. Like, you're their twin flame. You're happy. You're collected. You got what they want. They they want the celebration with you. <clears throat> Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here? Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here? Hi. Three of Cups reversed. Why would that card pop up right now? They think the sun's never going to shine again. This pain's never going to end. It's never going to come back together.
Knight of Cups, you just weren't ready to commit. They think you were fly by night. Like you came in, you came in with with little messages of love, and it was just words, and it's never going to come together. Can I throw one more on that. You want to talk. Six of Cups, the memories were so happy. It could have been great. Why does this have to end? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Cross Watcher, I'm sorry, I don't mean to pick on you if this is resonating, but um Five of Pentacles reversed. They want to come out of the cold. They want you to be wrapped up in as this is as much as they are. Hi, you fell. What are you? Knight of Swords, they want to talk. They want to communicate. Oh my gosh, okay, so. Back in my day, in the very beginnings of social media, like before Facebook, when there was different avenues of um, social media and talking to people and meeting people, having profiles and junk up. Um, there was something we used to call baiting, <laughs> where you would throw something up on your profile specifically to get someone's attention. I think you know what I'm talking about. They're doing this because they want you to see it because they don't want this to end, Aquarius. They want to lock you in a cage of swords. They want you to be their every, you know, they want you to be, oh, uh, okay. Stumbling on my words. They want to be your every thought. They, they want to consume you. Wow. This just got weird. Why is the five of cups reverse chair for the challenge, please? Hi, thanks for coming out to play. Five of Cups in the upright. So the challenge here is someone is, is so sad and so depressed and just looking back on what went wrong, that they can't see the blessing in the situation. And the other one is like, I could care less. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm over it. I want to move on. I want to grab my two cups of blessings and walk away. <laughs> That's the problem here. Why is the world reversed here for what could be done? Queen of Pentacles. Magician. A do-over is the last thing the situation needs. One more on that. Ten of Wands reversed. Okay. This burden needs to be released. Someone in this situation needs to find their self-worth again. 
and find their independence. Someone needs to manifest newness in their life. I'm saying a cycle needs to close out here. Not even necessarily the one we're talking about. Like an old one from way back when. <laughs> people usually spy on other people. How do I put this? It's a horrible, nasty habit that people get into, especially if they've been burned before. This is going to be like the theme of the day, I swear, to go pointing fingers and accusing. Like, they dig for a reason to end it. Because deep down, somewhere in their self-conscious, or their subconscious, they don't want to move forward. They don't want to end cycles. They allow history to repeat itself because somewhere deep down, that's just what they're used to. Oh, this, this is just, this is just what I'm attracted to. So obviously you're doing something wrong and I'm going to find out what it is and I'm going to find an excuse to end this and then I'm going to bitch when it ends. That's just how it works with some people. And Aquarius, I think this is the type of person you've tangled yourself up with. A cycle repeater. It's like their VCR is stuck on rewind. Every time a movie ends, and instead of ejecting the tape, it just plays the same damn movie over and over again. The tape is stuck in the VCR. And for those of you who don't know what a VCR is, look it up. It's fun stuff. I, I often forget that I'm, you know, a lot older than I actually am. And <laughs> not everybody knows what a VCR is or even owns one or has ever even seen one. So... The same damn movie is just playing over and over again with this person, and you're not having it, Aquarius. It's like, you know what? You need to, like, go. Because I don't need your drama. I don't want your drama. I'm not doing anything. And I'm not dealing with you. So, until you become more independent, and you can manifest positive things in your life, and you can release your burdens, I don't want no part of this. It's essentially what you're at right now. I'm going to take my cups and I'm going to walk away. Why is the strength reversed here for the potential outcome? Six of Swords. Moving on. This is draining. I'm moving on. I'm going where there's less drama, and I'm happier. I can't deal with you anymore. Four of Cups. I'm going to take what the universe is trying to hand me. I'm not going to ignore it anymore. I'm grabbing this cup. Because this particular one isn't looking down at the th three spilt cups from the past. Okay, that's where we're at with that. Wow, Aquarius, this got weird. Sorry, Crosswatcher, I do not mean offense, but... It's... It, to me, the energies are very clear. I don't really know who's doing what or who's being clingy and draining and who's done with it, but according to the cards, Aquarius, you're done. Three of Wands, Ace of Wands. Eventually, your ship will come in.
if you waited the dog long enough, eventually new fires and new passions will come in. New things will come. The star reversed, the three of pentacles reversed. Until you heal, you're not going to be able to build a solid foundation for anything. You have to do the healing first. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Keep working on yourself. Money in the bank, the inner work, however you want to go about it. Concentrate on just, you know, saving up and doing the important stuff, making sure the bills are paid and putting money in the bank. Living the dream, not surviving the nightmare. And wait for new communication to come in with new people. Newness is coming. The Four of Pentacles and Death. Some of you may be going through like a soul transformation right now. This possibly will change the way you look at every other relationship you ever get into. This relationship was meant to change you. <laughs> I'm hearing keep your thoughts to yourself. <laughs> So, I don't know why I just heard keep your thoughts to yourself, but hold back. Whatever you might feel compelled to say or do to this person, hold back. Because this is part of your soul transformation. This might be why this happened to you. Those of you who are resonating with are going to know what I mean by that. This is going to change how you approach every other relationship, if it hasn't already. Okay, Aquarius, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for stopping by. Let me know if it resonated. And I love hearing from you guys. Again, like, share, subscribe if you feel so compelled. Hit the notification bell if you want. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. And if you would like a personal reading... Hit us up for that, too. We'll talk. All right? I got cards to read. I got to go check on my kid and make sure he's doing his classwork. So thanks for hanging out. And I will catch you guys later. Love you to bits.